everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and today we are going to learn how to crochet an I-cord. An I-cord is simply a strong cord that has worked um, in many ways. Today we're going to use our crochet hook. It's very easy to do and it is a great thing to know if you want to add uh, a cord to your projects such as I have done to my little flower girl purse here. I've used this I-cord for the handle. So it's so easy to work. All you need is a little bit of yarn, any weight, any size crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. We're going to jump right in. We're going to start. I'm going to use a five millimeter crochet hook as well as a worsted weight cotton. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then by chaining three. So one, two, three. Once you've worked your three chains, you're going to begin by inserting your hook into your second chain from your hook. So there's the first, this is the second, I'm working into my back bumps. Insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, especially when we're first starting off. What you're going to do is you're going to drop the first two loops from your hook. You'll want to hold on to them and I'm pinching them between my thumb and my middle finger here. You'll want to hold on to them so that they don't slip loose. You'll have one loop remaining on your hook. You're going to reach across, grab your yarn, and carefully pull it through. Again, hold on to those other two loops so that they don't get lost and drop a loop. You're then going to insert your hook into that first dropped loop, yarn over and draw up a loop, and then do the same for the third dropped loop, and hopefully it hasn't slipped through like mine has. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You once again have three loops on your hook. You're then going to repeat the, that step for as long as you would like until uh, you've reached the end of your length of cord. So you're going to first remove the first two loops from your hook. You have one loop remaining. Reach across, grab a hold of your yarn, and draw up a loop. Pull it through. You're then going to insert your hook into the first drop loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and do it again for the next one. Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook again. Repeat. Drop the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining loop on your hook, insert your hook into the next loop, yarn over, draw up a loop, insert your hook into the third loop, yarn over, draw up a loop, and you can see my cord is coming along nicely here. So continue to do that for as long as you would like. When you are all finished your cord, you're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then I like to yarn over one more time and pull through, and you can then fasten off. And that's all there is to working an easy crochet eye cord. I can't wait to hear what kind of projects you use this quick trick in, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you about that. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.